Companies do a variety of actions and I categorize them into three areas, the good, the bad, and the ugly. In the bad category, which is what companies do which can harm their company and ultimately lead to the ugly category, which is something you really don't want to be in, uh, is what I'm going to talk about now. In particular, I'm talking about neglect. What is neglect? Neglect is something that a company does where they know that they have a problem, and in many instances they know exactly what the problem is, but they don't do anything about it. They continue to let that problem fester and fester and fester. In some cases, it never gets resolved. In other cases, and like in my own, they bring in companies such as my ESPI company to consult with them to find out what the problem is and how to solve it, even though they may know already. In a number of instances, what they'll do is, when we come up with what the causes are, we'll be told, oh, well, we already knew about that problem. You didn't tell us anything we didn't know already. And my question is, if that's the case, why wasn't something done about it sooner? That's because there was neglect. In one instance, we had worked with a company in the past and had done a, a number of different projects for them. They now wanted us to look at the fact that they weren't properly using their information system. As we did our analysis in order to provide the proposal to them, we found out that they really hadn't done the background work that was necessary in order to use the system properly. And they needed to do all sorts of things operationally and functionally in order to make that happen. When we went to provide the proposal to them, we were told by the CEO that she knew exactly what the problem was, that the system itself was at fault, they hadn't installed it properly, and, one, and by just doing that, then everything would be fine and, and hunky-dory. That was not the case. What the case was, was they didn't have the foundation in place, and therefore, they even if they spent copious amounts of time, large amounts of time, to fix the system, it still wouldn't function the way they wanted to. By not listening to us, that was neglect. What she was listening to were software companies who wanted to do implementations, had no idea what they were talking about when it came to foundation building, and she was going to continue, and they were going to continue to have problems. Why is identifying and solving uh, a problem important? Because if you don't, as I mentioned before, it'll continue to fester until it gets to the point where you may be in a downward spiral, something that no company wants to do. That takes major action to resolve. In my book, What About the Vermin Problem, which we released in February 2020, I will talk more about this subject, and I hope for, that you will look forward to seeing and getting this book then.